more voices are lauding the call for inclusivity for women in all aspects of the Nigerian society. Chairman at an event to mark the 2024 International Women's Day, Mr. Daku Kopita Said and Vice Chairman Correspondent Chapel of the Nigeria Union of Journalists, Ms. Grace E.K. and other speakers called on all consent to address outstanding impediments to gender mainstreaming in Nigeria. Here is a report from the event put together by Female Journalist Network Nigeria and the Nigeria Association of Women Journalists. The event tagged International Women's Day Conference 2024, centered on the theme Together Ensure Inclusivity, Loud Her Voice. All remarks by representatives of partners and the address by chairman of the occasion passed the harmonized message of striving against all odds to ensure women inclusivity and eliminate all forms of crimes including especially female genital mutilation against women and girls. And it is in recognizing these barriers that we find the urgent need to actively uplift the voices that have too often been relegated to the margins. We must persist in amplifying women's voices, ensuring every woman is afforded the opportunity to be seen, heard, and valued. Like Grace was speaking here, that we need to come together and then be united to strengthen ourselves. That strength should not just be in the moment. That strength should be continual. Heads of government agencies, including Senior Special Assistant to the President on School Feeding, Dr. Yetundi Adeniyi, Representative of the Chairman, Senate Committee on Women Affairs, Senator Eriti Kingebe, and the Nigeria Immigration Service FCT Command, spoke of actions towards addressing all concerns of women. It is a call to action for all of us to challenge stereotypes, support women's achievements, and create an inclusive world where everyone, regardless of gender, can reach their full potentials. SCOAS is championing the theme, mobilizing partnerships for gender mainstreaming in Nigeria's sustainable development agenda. Leaders in Nigeria Immigration Service are dedicated and committed to promoting a workplace culture that values and respects the contributions of women. Organizers of the conference, Female Journalist Network in Nigeria and Nigeria Association of Women Journalists in Award FCT chapter, led by the heads Joy Asonye and Comrade Basi Ita Ikbang, believe in the capacity of the female journalists themselves to front the movement. At the conclusion of this conference, my fervent hope is that the, we emerge with a renewed determination to spotlight women and women's issues celebrate their achievements and empower them to claim their rightful place in society. It is only with female journalists that can promote more voices of women. So as we celebrate this year's International Women's Day as female journalists, please, let's decide right here to amplify more of women's voices in our news reports, in our special reports, in our programs in our news program and in our program program. Going by the saying, charity begins at home, female journalists in the federal capital territory are hopeful. Inclusivity will be evident in the next NUJ FCT Council election. Rosemary Ukokotega, ASO Television News.